helping you live healthy, especially around the holidays, because things can be very tricky for all of us. But if you have diabetes or maybe you're trying to maintain your weight, it can be even more stressful. But there are some simple habits that can make sure that you stay healthy, because in the end, you do not want to end up in the ER when you are during enjoying the holidays. So joining me now to talk about people living with diabetes and how you navigate during this time, is, it's Fallon, right? Fallon. Fallon. I knew, I knew you okay. wrote like Jimmy Fallon. Yes. So Fallon Schultz, a diabetes lifestyle expert. And you're also living with type 1 diabetes. You were diagnosed as a 14-year-old. What has your life been like and how do you adjust so that you can enjoy yourself and stay healthy? Yeah, so I was diagnosed when I was 14 and this disease is really all about living a healthy lifestyle and that's what I try to do every single day. I help my clients with and it really comes down to food, exercise and just being in tune with your body. So the holidays, there's cookies, there's cakes, there's just so much around, so much goodness and a lot of people, you know, they get into diet mode and I really dislike that term because they're so restrictive. Mm -hmm. And if someone's, let's say, trying to maintain their weight or lose a few pounds, they're gonna say, oh, I can't eat any cookies at this party. Right. When in turn, they're probably gonna go home and if they have leftovers, just binge, yeah, binge yeah. eat. Yeah. Do you, instead of diet mode, do you think it's a lifestyle or how do you look at it so that you are living healthy, but then you are also enjoying what you can? Yeah, so for me and people that I consult with, it's really all about balance. So fitting it into your life, and there's so many tools out there today, whether it's an app or accountability groups, mm -hmm. just learning and really being in tune with your body. So it, like it's called intuitive eating and just knowing if I eat this, how is it going to make me feel? How is it going to affect me? And, you know, living with type 1, we can eat cake and ice cream. That's really a misconception. And a lot of people, when they're around family members who maybe don't understand the differences between type 1 and type 2, they get really frustrated because their grandmother might say, oh, you have diabetes. You shouldn't be eating right. that to a little kid. Right. But for you, I was going to say, you have type 1. So if you do eat it, you have to balance it with some insulin that you right. actually wear a pump that will yes. monitor that and regulate yeah. that. Yeah. So just giving yourself a dose of insulin to cover it, you really can enjoy anything with type one. Um, with type two, you know, p there's a lot of different things. Some people may be on insulin. Some people may just be managing it with lifestyle habits. So really three things is like paying attention to your plate, mm -hmm. you know, eating vegetables first and protein because okay. that will keep you full. Right. And, then, and then you're not so inclined to just yeah. eat all the sweets. Yeah. yeah. And then like if there are mashed potatoes or rolls, you know, you'll be fuller. Mm -hmm. um, slowing down your eating. So really eating slower, l letting your brain recognize that your stomach's full right. really does help. And staying active, you know, just a simple 10, 15 minute walk after you eat a big meal, because you can get really sluggish mm -hmm. after you eat a big meal, really helps manage your blood sugar. So we, like just after Thanksgiving, you know, I try to stay active by going on a walk before and after. Right. It just really makes a big difference. All right, well, thank you so much. Very good tips, I think, for all of us, even if we're not dealing with diabetes. Right. There are good ways to stay healthy during the holiday season. Yeah. Fallon, thank you. Thank you.